Let's take a look at the starting lineup of Clarendon College. They'll be playing with a 4 3 3 formation. Little Rodney, of course, who was deputy last season, has been promoted to between the sticks. Rogel Francis on the left. Nashon Bolt and Devonte Hodges, the centre back pairing. Atiba Green on the right of defence. Dion Cupi back in the holding midfield position. Malachi Douglas, DeAndre Gallimore, Gallimore the number 10, uh, joins them. And up top, of course, centre forward Kahim Dixon, who scored some 17 goals and had six assists last season uh, he'll be beside uh, Jamil Ashley and Christopher Hull who of course uh, scored 10 goals and 10 assists last term as well as we take a look at Lennon High and what they have to offer they have a back five Clayton Lawrence between the sticks Jordan Hemingham, uh, Richardo Ramsey, the skipper, Roshan Rooms, McCoy Gordon and Gary Morgan. They complete the back five. Kishon Green on the left of midfield, Jaheim Carty on the right, Giovanni Bailey, the holding midfielder, and Alde Wilson, the number seven, will play behind their striker. 17 goals and six assists. As we take a look at the full-time highlights, as this shot struck the arm of the defender, and uh, easy conversion there. Early in this piece, captain scoring from 12 yards, Malachi Douglas. And then, this opportunity beautiful finish by Christopher Hull just tucking that one into the corner and uh, moving to his left Clayton Lawrence couldn't quite reach there and then this from the training ground Hull to Hodges and then the ball put inside to Dixon wonderful play just beautiful movement and then Green playing it inside and the team Dixon with the finish. Wonderful to watch. Lenny Hyde loved it. And then the supply inside at the back post. Dixon was there and laid it smoothly. Ashley with the goal. They called him Budu, Jamel Ashley. And he converted well there. Cardinal College's new number nine. Love the ball played through. And Dixon again on a platter. And Douglas arriving at the back post. Tapping that one. Then on defense all over the shot. And Douglas making them pay. Freaky taken. That one was parried over the, the bar. And then in the second half, in the first 10 minutes of the second half, they had so many chances. But look at this piece of skill from Ashley. Almost pulled out the spectacular there. And then this effort was spilled. Follow up much better denying Dixon. And the ball played through again. And another wonderful save there. Lawrence had a good game between the sticks. As we take a look at the full-time statistics here, Clarendon College bossing it, 12 shots, 14 on target. Lennon High with five shots, two on target. 13 fouls committed by CC, seven more than uh, Lennon High. And you can see the corner kicks now in favor of Clarendon College. Lennon had the majority of the corner kicks at the end of the first half. Clarendon College overtook uh, them in the statistic and also 70% possession for CC over Lennon.
Yeah, I'm here downstairs now with the player of the match, Kahim Dixon. Kahim, two assists to go along with one goal. Uh, what do you think about your entire performance for this game and how does it set the tone for the rest of the season for you? I think my performance for, for this game wasn't excellent as I expected. Expected to score four or five goals this match, but there's still room for improvement. Yeah, let me ask you though, uh, which part of the game was your favorite? The two assists or the scoring the one goal? Goal scoring, can I come off a set piece? Yeah. Training ground practice, net. All right, Kahim, well, well done to you, congratulations. Thank you very much. Yes, that was the player of the match, Kahim Dixon, number 13. Now, let's have a, a chat now with the Lennon High uh, assistant coach who you know wanted to get a better result a tough start to the season for you coach uh, but what positives can you take from this game what positives can you take from this game well second half second half that's a positive it was a very nervy first half with the youths that are very young um the age group is like 14 to 16 years old but second half go to the giant board give some instruction the team come out and fought well and I can say it's a, a very good second half and can build on first of the season. Yeah, well, we, we, we heard a couple of comments from our commentators about the fact that your defenders were not able to press the ball as you would have probably wanted them to. What specific instructions were you given, were they given uh, in terms of defensive effort? Yes, there was instruction. But as I told you before, it's a very nervous start with the youth age group. It's like 14 to 16 year old. They put put in the work, put in the second half shift. So well, I have to compliment them and move on from here. All right, coach. Well, thank you so much. Speaking All right, welcome. Yeah, that was the assistant coach, Lennon Hyde. Yeah. And uh, now we have a coach, a talk with coach Lenny Hyde. Coach, uh, you started this season how you would have ended last season on a winning note. You must be a very happy man about that. Yeah, man, I good start. You know, I love what I see for most of the game. You know, we kept the ball, we were composed, we have a lot of confidence. And that's what you look for going into the start of the season, you know. Yeah, well, you did end last season undefeated in the Costa Cup. Uh, how does this win set the tone for this season? Yeah, man, definitely. We want to set precedence whenever you play. We, we had some new players in the team, so we are, we, are, we are building chemistry going forward. So, how you prepare throughout the season, game by game, that will elevate the team, the chemistry will build. And the more we play together, I think you will see better football from Karen and College. All right, Coach, we can't wait to see. Thank you so much and yeah. congratulations. Thank you. Beat your chest, he's a schoolboy footman. A team could rise and a team could fall. But you never will know until the whistle blows around. Come and join the show.